Let's do some exercises off of recursion multiple choice worksheet number one. So we have a recursive method. We have this method named mystery that calls itself. Let's trace it and see what happens. This is kind of like a loop, only it's the word for isn't here or while. Okay, the parameter 3543 is passed in for x according to the given uh, question down here. And we want to know what's returned. So in the first stack frame, I call this stack frame number one. X is equal to, the parameter X is equal to 3543. Three. And we execute this if else statement. Now X is not zero, so we, false. So we go down to the else. And now we have to return whatever this is. Well, unfortunately, this is not a simple number. We have to figure this, this out. So x mod 10, uh, 3543 mod 10 is 3 is 3. Anytime you mod by 10, we've already learned that when you mod by 10, you're getting the last digit. So this simplifies to 3. And then we have to add that to this. Oh man, we have to call the mystery function again. But first we have to take x divided by 10. Because of integer division, when you divide an int by 10, you're taking this part of the number and you're chopping off, after you divide by 10, you're chopping off the decimal. So all of this simplifies to 354. Again, another numerical pattern that we've studied very thoroughly earlier in the school year. You go back to unit 5 or so to, to study uh, this 3 and this 354, but it should not take you much effort to, to do this work. Okay, well, this is not 354. This is really the mystery parentheses 354. So in stack frame 2, well, that's stack frame 1 still. Stack frame 1 simplifies to 3 plus the mystery of 354. Now, I drill down to stack frame 2, where the number 354 is passed in as a parameter to, to x. In that case, x is not 0. We have, in stack frame 2, I don't have time to race. Uh, mod 10. This mod 10 is really 4. Again, it's the last digit. All, uh, this number 354 divided by 10, it's the 35. So we've now analyzed that we need to take 4 plus the m of 35. So in other words, in stack frame 2, the parameter was 354. And stack frame 2 ended up elsing to 4 plus the m, the mystery, of 35. But we still have this 3 plus out there. And I kind of drew this staggered for a reason. See how I put the 4 plus underneath this? Because all of this just executed through here and turned into this. The 3 plus is still kind of out there in somewhere. Now I continue. The number, we're now in stack frame 3, where x is 35. Olivia's getting pretty good at this. She knows 35 is not 0, and she knows that, well, x mod 10, 35 mod 10 is 5, and x divided by 10 is the 3, and we really need to remember the add here and do the m in front of this. So we can rewrite this as 5 plus the m of 3. Wow. We still have the 4 plus and the 3 plus hanging along. Maybe you want to put ditto marks to stay organized here. You cannot do these in your head, even if you're the great Rohan. No way. I've never had a student who can do these in their head, except for Patrick Cesar's. Uh, but he's, uh, he's, he's in a PhD program uh, for his doctorate in math. He'll be a math professor someday soon. OK, x is now 3. Is 3 equal to 0? No. What's 3 mod 10? Uh, 3 mod 10, it's 3. 
And what's 3 divided by 10? 3 divided by 10 is 0.3. You chop off the decimal, you're left with a 0. So you end up with 3 plus the m of 0 in stack frame 4. Ah! That video is messing up when I need it the most. Okay. Parentheses. Okay. 0 comes in here, and 0 is equal to 0, so 0 returns. So all of this turns into 0 in stack frame 5. Stack frame 5, x is equal to 0. That m parentheses 3 turns into a 0. We still have this 3 plus with it. We still have this 5 plus hanging along for the ride. We still have this 4 plus hanging along for the ride. We still have this 3 plus hanging along for the ride. And this is called the base case in your vocab. The, the part of the if else that doesn't have the function name in it, that's called the base case. This clause, the else section, is called the recursive case. And you always hit the base case eventually. Otherwise, this is infinite recursion which is never a good thing, and it's always a logic error. Just like an infinite loop is usually a bad thing. So we did hit the base case, and now it just simplifies. 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 0. Heaven help me, I hope the answer is down here. I hope all that adds up to one of the answers. 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 0 is 15. Yes! Thank goodness. One of the... I'm going to stick with that. I don't have time to check this work. If you get the recursion problem wrong on the AP exam, don't give up. A lot of people miss this one. Usually only like 10, 20, 25% of the people in the country even get this one right. But hopefully that was the answer. I'm sure somebody will email me if it's not, because I probably fell for one of the tricks. Moral of the story, you pass in the parameter, and you hit the recursive case two or three or four times. Then eventually it hits the base case, and you just add it all up. Best of luck with the rest of the questions on this worksheet and any other worksheets that are assigned.